Goblin launch detected. Uh-oh. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. If you're looking for cards in the US, look no further as you can use the promo code MTGMUDSTA to get you 5% off anything on the site. Or if you're in Canada like me, you can use the same promo code at Multizone to get 10% off your orders of singles. If cards aren't what you're looking for, Original Magic Art has playmats, tokens, and sweet art that you can use that same promo code to help you get 5% off your order there. If you're looking to bling out your cards, using Alter Sleeves is a great way to do so, and you can click the affiliate link in my About section to help out the channel as you make an order. And if you just want to help out the channel, you can always consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month and join the generic Goblin Gang. Hey gang, and welcome back. Today's game is another Game Breaker Gang one, with me playing my old Greven deck that has since been discontinued. I keep a Blood Artist, Disciple of Bolas, Swamp, Strands of Night, Mountain, Reliquary Tower, and Soul Ring. Martin is playing Golos, keeping a Necromantic Selection, Brilliant Ultimatum, Beanstalk Giant, Amanatu's Augury, and Three Forests. Nick is playing Rian, keeping Gahiji Honored One, Greater Good, Sakura Tribe Elder, Gwazali Pride Mage, Misty Rainforest, Forest, and a Plains. Eric is rocking Saskia, keeping a Goblin Cadets, Mountain, Ash Barrens, Myriad Landscape, Swamp, Evolving Wilds, and a Duelist Heritage. Eric wins the die roll and starts us off. He plays a Mountain for turn and casts Goblin Cadets, passing to Nick. Nick plays a Misty, cracking it and losing one to go and find a Cinder Glade. Martin plays a Jun Panorama, passing. I play a Swamp and pass back to Eric. Eric plays a Swamp and pays 2 mana for Humble Defector. He then moves to combat, swinging the goblins at Nick for 2. Nick untaps and plays a Plains. He pays 2 mana for Steve and passes. Martin plays a Forest and cracks the panorama to go and find a Swamp and passes to me. I drop a Mountain for turn and then cast Soul Ring. I'm able to cast a Blood Artist before passing back to Eric. Eric plays an Evolving Wilds and moves to combat. He swings the Goblin at Martin this time for two, and once that's done, activates the Humble Defector, drawing two cards, and passes it to Nick. In his second main phase, he casts Wayfarer's Bobble, he then cracks the Evolving Wilds to go find a basic for the field, and moves to save some time by cycling Ash Barrens to do sort of the same, but instead of the field, puts one to hand. At the end of Eric's turn, Nick sacrifices Sakura Tribe Elder to go and find a Plains. Nick plays a Crows and Verge as his land for turn, and then casts a Knight of Autumn. While Nick has the Knight come in and blow up my Soul Ring. Nick then activates the Defector, drawing two, and passing it and the turn to Martin. Martin untaps and activates the Defector as well, drawing two and passing it back to Eric and breaking the chain, and I'm forever mad. He plays a Forest, and then casts the Fertile Footsteps part of the Beanstalk Giant. He finds an island, and puts it into play untapped, and then passes to me. I untap and draw. I cast Act of Aggression, paying 4 life with the Phyrexian mana, and I target the Humble Defector that I missed out on. I then activate it and draw two cards, and pass it back to Eric as a sign of goodwill. I then play a Mountain for turn, and pass. Turn 4 has Eric untapping and playing a Forest. He activates the Humble Defector, drawing two, and passing it back to me. He then taps out to cast Smothering Tithe, and swings the Goblin and Martin, dealing another two. Nick untaps and draws. He opts to not pay for the Smothering Tithe, giving Eric a treasure and then playing a forest. He casts Quizali Pride Mage, and then moves to combat. He swings the Knight of Autumn at Martin, which gets pumped by Exalted, dealing a total of three, and Nick then passes to Martin. Martin untaps and draws. He pays for the Smothering Tithe, and then taps two for Felwar Stone. With nothing else, he passes. 
I untap and draw, and don't pay for the tithe trigger as well. Eric then uses some of his treasures to activate the Wayfarer's Bobble and goes to find a basic. I then activate the Humble Defector, drawing two and allowing Eric to make two more treasure tokens, and pass it back to Martin. I then cast a Phyrexian Reclamation and cycle Ash Barons. I go to find a basic and pass, and at the end of my turn, Nick cracks his Cross and Verge to go and find a Plains and a Forest card. Eric untaps and draws. He plays a land and then uses two treasures and two lands to cast Diochan Artful Beauty. He then moves to combat and swings the goblin at Martin again for another two. Nick untaps and chooses to not pay for the Smothering Tithe once more. He casts Rien, Angel of Rebirth, and then goes to combat. He swings the Knight of Autumn at me and the Quasali Pride Mage at Eric. In response, Eric casts Benevolent Offering having me make three 1-1 spirit tokens, and having Martin gain two life for each creature he controls, while Eric gets both effects. I block the knight with one spirit, and Eric double blocks the pride mage. Before damage, Nick then sacrifices the pride mage to blow up the smothering tithe, and I drain Eric with the blood artist triggers. Nick then returns the creature that died to his hand, discards to hand size, and passes turn. Martin untaps and activates the defector, he draws two, and then plays a Cross and Verges his land for turn as well. He then casts Casualties of War, choosing Blood Artist as a creature, Frexian Reclamation as an enchantment, the Treasure Token as an artifact, and Eric's Swamp as a land. With the Blood Artist dying, I drain Martin for one. I untap, playing another land for turn. I cast a Grainborn Muse, and then activate the Defector to draw two. This time I pass it to Nick, and with nothing else, pass my turn to Eric. Eric untaps and plays a Mana Confluence as his land for turn. He taps 4 mana, losing 1 from the Confluence, to cast Saskia. She comes in, and he names me as the target, and then moves to combat, swinging his whole squad at Martin. Martin takes 9 with no blockers to block, which also has me taking 9 as well, and Eric passes. Nick untaps and plays a land. He then casts Mirari's Wake, which he follows up with by casting Safi, Eric's daughter, and then the Quasali Pride Mage that he returned to hand earlier. He moves to combat, and swings at Eric for 7. He then sacrifices the Pride Mage to destroy Martin's Felwar Stone, and returns it to hand at the end of turn thanks to Rien. Martin's turn is fairly uneventful, as he untaps, plays a mountain, and cracks the Crows and Verge to find a forest and a plains before passing to me. I lose one on my upkeep to the Graveworn Muse, drawing from it and then for turn. I play a land and cast Griven, Predator Captain. I then move to combat and swing both spirits at Eric for two, passing back to Eric. In Eric's main phase, he activates Diochan and makes a deal with Martin to have Martin not target any of his creatures as he targets Nyx Rien. Martin agrees to this deal and chooses my Graveworn Muse. In response, Nyx sacrifices Safi which allows Rien to bring Safi back to hand at the end of turn, and Rien goes back to the field as she dies. Unfortunately, my Graveborn Muse isn't as lucky, and just dies. Eric then plays a Myriad Landscape, which comes in tapped, and he casts a Hunted Dragon, which as it enters, has him giving Martin the Knight tokens it generates. He then moves to combat, and swings the Dragon and the Spirits at me, and then passes to Nick. Nick plays a land for turn, and with all the mana at his disposal, activates the Defector, drawing two and sending it my way. He's then able to cast Safi, Gahiji Honored One, and enchants Ran with Gift of Immortality before dropping a greater good. With that combination of cards, he moves to combat and swings Ran at Eric, bumping his commander damage up to a total of 15. With nothing else, Nick passes turn. Martin untaps and plays another forest. He plays out a Conflux and searches for one card of each color to put to hand. He reveals a Swarm Intelligence, Overabundance, Early Harvest, Doomsday, and Wave of Reckoning. 
Martin then has nothing else to do as he discards down to hand size and passes to me. I untap and draw two cards using the Humble Defector and giving it back to Eric. I then put to stack a Fire Covenant and put 12 life into it. I assign the damage to be lethal to Safi, Gahiji, and Rien, even though Rien has the Gift of Immortality. Nick sacrifices Safi to save Gahiji. At this point, Grevin is now a 17-5, and moving to combat, I swing it at Eric. Since I'm attacking one of Nick's opponents, Grevin gets pumped by an additional plus 2 plus 0, but Eric decides to block Grevin with Saskia and the Goblin Cadets. Because of the Cadets' ability, it gets removed from combat and goes to Martin's side. Saskia then dies. And in my second main phase, I follow up with a Disciple of Bolus, sacrificing Grevin to gain 19 life and draw 19 cards. One of those cards is a Hex Parasite, and I then pass to Eric. Eric untaps and draws. He plays with Makokoro, and then activates the Defector, sending it back to Martin. He plays and activates a Wishclaw Talisman, tutoring for a card to hand, and also sending it Martin's way. Eric then activates Diochan, targeting Nick's commander, and chooses Martin to choose another creature. Martin picks Kihiji, and in response, Nick sacrifices Rian to greater good, drawing 6 and discarding 3. Eric then casts Fortunate Few, having everyone choose a non-land permanent they don't control and destroying all their permanents. Eric chooses Martin's Wishclaw Talisman, Nick picks my Hex Parasite, Martin chooses Hunted Dragon, and I choose Greater Good. We then move to Eric's combat step, and he swings the dragon at me for 6 and passes to Nick. Nick untaps and plays a land. He casts Drugar Headmage, and as it comes in, blows up Eric's Wishclaw Talisman. He then casts an Altar of Bone, sacrificing the Hedge Mage to go and search for Xenagos, God of Revels, and puts it to hand. He then casts Swiftfoot Boots, and brings back out the infamous Quizali Pride Mage before passing to Martin. Martin untaps and plays a Plains. He taps 5 mana to cast Wave of Reckoning, which effectively wipes the board. He then drops Golos, finding a Command Tower, and passes to me. I untap and cast Lightning Greaves. I then play out a Virtus the Veiled and move to equip the Greaves, but this has Nick responding to cast Path to Exile. Unfortunately, Virtus then turns into a basic, and I follow up by casting a Treasonous Ogre, which I then try to equip the boots onto. It resolves, and I then move to combat, swinging the Ogre at Nick, getting a Dethrone Trigger, and dealing three. Eric untaps and plays a Homeward Path. He casts a Hunted Lamassu, giving Martin the Rat Tokens, and then Tangarth, first mate. Nick untaps, and plays out a Ravager Worm, putting a plus one plus one counter onto it, and having it fight Golos. Thankfully, Golos dies without an activation. Nick then casts a Fayboro Elder, and moves to equip it with the Greaves. He then taps it to add three mana, and taps out for Xenagos before moving to combat. He puts the trigger onto the worm, and swings it at me. Nick then sacrifices the worm to greater good, drawing 10, and then discarding 3, and then down to hand size. Martin untaps and casts Swarm Intelligence. He follows up with the Early Harvest, which will untap all his basic lands. This spell gets copied by the Swarm Intelligence, so Martin floats some mana before the original copy, and then the copy resolves. He's got 10 mana floating at this point, and untap mana. He casts Overabundance, making even more mana, and then taps a land, taking one for the Overabundance to cast Doomsday. He finds Brass's Bounty, Repeated Reverberation, Reclaim, Treacherous Terrain, and the Early Harvest for the Graveyard. He stacks them in the order of his choosing, and uses the rest of his mana to recast Golos, choosing to not find a land. He then activates Golos to cast from the top three of his library, which he uses to cast Repeated Reverberation, which he gets a copy of from Swarm Intelligence, so the next spell he casts makes four copies of it. He then casts Brass's Bounty, making 44 total treasures. He then activates Golos again, and gets to cast Reclaim, putting the Reverberation and Bounty back on top. 
He then casts Bonus Round and the Reverberation, and makes enough copies at this point of Treacherous Terrain to take the table out in one go, and wins the game. Game review time. I was a big fan of Eric Saskia Queensmaker deck, as it seemed like all the cards in his deck gave his opponent advantages, while at the same time furthered his board state. I love that kind of deck space, and he didn't even play blue, which is fantastic. Speaking of fantastic, I was really impressed with Nick's Naya Reanimator deck, although I guess I wouldn't really call it a Reanimator. He was able to sacrifice big creatures to fun effects like Greater Good, and having them return to hand to be able to use them again gave him tons of access to ETB effects, not to mention activated abilities that require you to sacrifice your creatures. I think had he had that Kozali Pride Mage out, Martin certainly wouldn't have been able to go off as well as he did on his turn. And boy did he ever! I love doubling spells, so having Swarm Intelligence plus Reverberated Reverberation or whatever you want to call it, and bonus round in a winning turn, and using Brass's Bounty to win, oh, be still my beating heart. I also don't really know what to say about my Greven deck, this is probably one of the games that helped me convince myself to not play it anymore, and as a result, it's no longer a thing. This video wouldn't be possible without the help from my sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., Multizone, Original Magic Art, and Alter Sleeves. But it definitely wouldn't be possible without the help from you, the viewers, and my patrons. So I just want to say thank you for watching, and to remember, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.